I'll just start from the, the uh, voice message that I got from the governor. Good evening, Senator. Hope you're doing well. This is Eric Greitens. I was just going to catch up with you individually. Feel free to give me a call back here. I'm at this number, and I look forward to talking with you. Take care. I'm going to respond to the governor now. I hope he's listening. Governor, when you ran for office, you promised that you would be a governor known for ethics and transparency. In fact, you said that the most important thing is transparency around the money. Instead, you have defined yourself through scandal and covering things up, covering up your use of the Mission Continues donor list, covering up the dollar amounts your inaugural donors gave, covering up your tax returns, covering up your texting, covering up the donors to a new Missouri. And now it seems, using the public resource of your own chief legal counsel, Lucinda Lutgemeyer, to try and cover up allegations of sexual blackmail and assault. This is supposed to be the show me state, not the state where the governor covers things up. You have brought to our state a cloud of secrecy and dark money that destroys trust and reeks of corruption. I said last week that my opinion of you had not changed, but my opinion of you has been confirmed. It is now obvious that lack of transparency is a theme that permeates your public and private life. You've used the Confide app to defeat Missouri Sunshine Law, hiding from the people of Missouri records required by law to be made public. You've refused to disclose the donors to your dark money nonprofit, hiding from the people of Missouri how much you took from Express Scripts before you gave them a no-bid contract. You've refused to disclose how much you took from Centene before you put moms and kids in the outstate Missouri on managed care. And now you have used the resources of your office, staff time paid for with taxpayer dollars, to try and hide from the people of Missouri these most recent allegations. The people find themselves asking, have you now gone so far as to break the same law that put Bill Webster in prison? From what's been reported, it's clear that a massive effort is being made to spin what happened and make it seem legal. But the people of Missouri will not be easily convinced. The scandal has already affected our ability to govern as the legislature. The House has set aside its effort to pass meaningful ethics reform because of this dark cloud. Your state of the state speech was totally derailed, and you yourself have postponed the rollout of your tax reform proposal. It was going to be hard enough to govern with the allegations of blackmail and assault, but now that it has been revealed that Lucinda Lutgemeyer, your chief counsel, tried to cover up the story, you have made governing impossible. Her salary is paid by the taxpayers, and no matter how you spin it, you cannot escape the stench of cover-up. The most important thing is that the people of Missouri must be able to have confidence in their government. But given everything that's happened, they might forgive, but they won't forget. So, Governor, I'm asking you, please resign. Thank you, Mr. President.